Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. I got myself a second Fortec. Now, this is not the, um, the, the edition where it has the body included. Um, if you guys want to know which bodies you can have, at least for Traxxas, um, you, I got mine as, I got my first Fortec as a 4GT, but you can have the Corvette, you can have a, well, Corvette C7 specifically, um, you can have a, um, Cadillac CTSV and a Mustang. And this one, I have just a stock chassis um, with the XL5 system and, and Titan tall turn. And no body. So, and since it has no body, how thin that is. Battery and charger not included, just like my 4GT, which is no big deal because I, I got some batteries for, for me to test out a little bit of this thing. I may upgrade to LiPo's very soon, um, but. Right now, I'll just stick with nickel metal hydrides because that's all I got. And hopefully by next week, once I get my next paycheck, um, probably gonna get myself a nitro slash or a nitro rustler. But right now, time to unbox this thing. Enough of me blabbing. Let's do it. Oh, I just enjoy uh, this part of RC. It's like the best part of RCs, at least for me in the hobby, is unboxing things. And it's, yeah, it's just like getting a new car and just getting out of out of the out of the dealership. I just love that feeling. It's like I'm unwrapping a Christmas gift. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. So I believe the way that this box is actually constructed, it looks like that the if the this this piece actually opens up. So All right, I'm going to try to do that for you guys. And I had to do that. Zelda, I had to do that Zelda reference. And let's see what we got here on the top. Uh, we got okay the usual stuff. We got the TQI performance guide, and then we got some extra vinyl stickers. Um, this is technically the same thing as what I got from my Fortec. So okay, so far so good. And over here on the left hand side, we got. Uh, Okay. New surprise all here on the left hand side that I just took out. Um, this one right here is oh, oh 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 okay then. This one is the just the regular standard TQ uh, 2.4 gigahertz controller. Um, the one that my Fortec has, my other Fortec, that has the Ford GT body, has this kind of controller. This one has the this is the TQI with the the tracks is linked back here that I can actually hook my my phone to via Bluetooth and uh, yeah and this one has a 7030 and a dual uh, let me see here steering trim and multi-function knob whereas this one over here whereas this one is just the standard one it's basically the same kind of controller to get from the standard tracks of Slash, Rustler, Stampede, and Bandit. Um, all right, what else? Now over here, we got um, a set of tools and some shock spacers. And uh, this one right here is actually the the mounting the mounting towers uh, shock tower for the shock towers. And these are actually specifically for the Ford GT. Um, since the 4GT is a more lower slung aerodynamic uh, body. So, yeah, this this entire 
uh, shock tower assembly is primarily for the for GT which I already have already but it's already completely destroyed well it's not really destroyed still in one piece probably gonna get another one and the moment of truth the chassis itself I actually like this box I can actually put stuff in there and here it is the Fortec 2.0 itself this is where all the good stuff begins um, and figure out how to get this thing out of here because I've actually never oh, oh okay that was easy enough so uh, basically what you're seeing here is literally just the same chassis as my Fortec or GT which is up there so it's nothing really different here. So I'm not gonna go through a, actually I am gonna go through a little deep uh, tour or overview of it. Now, first of all, this is not the kind of antenna that my Ford GT had. Uh, the one that my Ford GT has actually is, is a smaller one. So I have a body with it, or uh, I have a body that I just bought my local hobby store on the same day I bought this thing um, and uh, I could tell you that this one's gonna be look will look ridiculous having a long antenna come on Traxxas I know RC cars are, are known for long antennas but this is already 2019 yeah and speaking of which this is actually my like I said this is my second Traxxas Fortec and my first Fortec was actually bought back in July of 2018 so Oh, it's been almost a year since I haven't got another Fortech. And the reason why I've actually wanted to get myself another Fortech because I wanted to have another streetcar in my collection. I just don't want any lonely Fortech. So, um, like I said, it's nothing new compared to my, what my Ford GT has. This is literally just the same thing. Um, that's my Ford GT. So you have your XL5 ESC. Your Titan 125 size motor, the same um, brush system that you find in the base model tracks of Slash, Rustler, Stampede, and Bandit. Um, unlike my Traxxas uh, Ford GT, this does not have the uh, the Traxxas stability management. So basically, what happens is if I go out of control, it's basically under my command. Uh, it does not stabilize on its own. Um, just much like a helicopter when it strays to one side and or spins out on its own it, the gyro actually helps correct it this does not have that kind of feature unfortunately um, looks like the shocks are just yeah the shocks are, are literally the same thing as my Ford GT and um, I don't worry about this white stuff that's just the packing material um, the back side is the same um, except this shock tower and yeah, same battery hold, hold down tray. Yeah, everything's all the same. Uh, solid uh, camber and tow linkages. Um, and I've actually never installed these kind of body mounts on my Ford GT at all. But from what I've heard is these are actually adjustable. So you can actually uh, put any size touring car body on this thing without any problems, which is pretty cool. All right. So, I mean, aside from that, everything is literally the same thing as what my Ford GT has. So, yeah, there's nothing really much to say about here. Um, I do have to say one more thing for those of you guys who are going to be considering buying a Fortech and you're going to be putting different types of wheels on, on this car, just keep in mind that this is actually a staggered setup. That's going to be hard for me to actually portray this on camera, but there we go. Um, what I mean by staggered is, is the rear tires are actually wider than the fronts. So these will still fit any size um, hex with a 12 millimeter hex hex uh, insert into it but it's just the problem is um, it, with the regular touring car style rim 
it's not going to like cover the whole entire fender so it's gonna look a little bit ugly but i mean if it, dis it that doesn't if you don't really care about that then it will still work fine but i'm just saying anyways guys uh, that's literally it um everything else that i'm seeing here is just the same thing as my ford gt um my ford gt servo though has actually changed to a 2056 the one that came off a of rustler because uh, the 2075 uh, actually blew up on that one not literally blew up but it gave up on gave up on me but um this one right here actually uses the 2075 servo it's the same kind of servo that you find on the tracks of slash so yeah anyways so uh, that's pretty much it for the Fortech 2.0 naked chassis edition because there's no body for it so this is just a naked chassis but it will have a body with it and um seriously Traxxas why 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 is such a long antenna I still like your brand, and I still like your products, though. But sometimes you kind of drive me nuts. Sometimes. Now, now, like I said, that the Fortech 2.0 all-wheel drive chassis is just only just the chassis itself, at least the one that I bought. But I actually got a body for it. This right here is a Tamiya Ferrari 458 Italia, or in this case, the Ferrari 458 Challenge um, shell, uh, touring car shell. And what I'm going to be doing is I'll be actually painting this and I will be doing a overall, not really much of a review, but it's like what I'm going to be doing uh, in, in that kind of matter. So, yep, that's the stuff that I'm going to put on the Fortech and um, these extra sh decal sheet that I actually bought for only like, uh, how much did I get? $3. And um, some body um, scissors and reamer set. So this right here is actually going to be the one that actually pokes the holes into the body to allow, to allow the body post to be inserted. And then this one right here, I'll be using to cut the bottom part of this, of this body. Stuff like that. So there you guys have it. That's the Traxxas. Fortech 2.0 naked chassis edition but it's going to have a Ferrari body on top of it so stay tuned for that I'll talk to you guys again soon